Thank you for joining my stream. Wow, okay. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of this one. I didn't have the time to finish it up, so we're kind of just making our way along the line art, and we could color some on it, but right now I'm kind of just trying to finish up the line art that I didn't do. Um, so far we have quite a few characters. There's one more to do, and then I've got background. I also didn't finish the hair here, because I kind of forgot about it after I had done Yesterlene. But yeah, this is just a big ol' scene. What's happening here is up to you guys. Like, you guys can make your own headcanons about it. Doesn't matter. It's just something for fun. I actually need to make something of the queen anyways. For my little Discord poll that I do every once in a while where I, I think I've mentioned it before I uh, post a picture of a, one of my characters with a little description of you know who they are what they do whatever lore stuff pretty much and I do that every once in a while I'm not sure I'll have to do it anymore once the book is out I mean, I still want to say we're pretty close, because we technically are, but I still haven't had the time to work on it in a while, but I, I want to work on it soon. So, it, it's going to be done pretty soon, just don't know how soon, but soon. I mean, if I figure out what exactly could be going on here, technically this could be, this picture could be in the book. I just need to finish it up, figure out the scenes and all that. Little bit of complicated stuff, but nothing I can't handle, I guess. I did kind of this storybook shading. You know what, that's a good name for it. I'll call it storybook shading from now on. I had been calling it uh, the name of like another artist because the shading style is kind of similar, but I think it's easier to just call it storybook shading because that's what it makes me think of a little bit more than even the other artist. There are many details. I don't know if this is interesting to you guys, but I like doing line art sometimes. And right now I'm in kind of a line art mood, which I guess is pretty good since I didn't have enough time to finish the line art off screen. go. Let's see, what else do we need here? Oh wait, there's more hair behind here, so just let's do some more squigglies. Squigglies. There we go. She has a lot of hair. A lot of my characters have a lot of hair. Let's see, okay, so now everybody except for, I even have our sketches that we did the one stream where you guys helped me design some characters, I, I have these nearby so I can see my refs pretty much. I think I might have to actually, hold on a sec, I might have to actually find the other ref of Echo because I want to make sure that I didn't update her style any. So let me just look for that real quick. But Echo is going to be close to the queen because, well, she's the general or whatever. I forgot what I called her because I looked it up one time, but I haven't actually used her title yet. It hasn't been relevant yet. She's 
something. The most important or something. Actually, if we were going by most important in the room, she would be like the third most important. <sighs> Rip. Um, I don't know. Do you guys think you would be interested in helping me design more characters soon? Because, like, I will definitely need more somehow, sometime. Ah, found it. Good, good. It doesn't look like much has changed. I don't think. I'm just gonna put that right over here somewhere. So I can look at it and make sure one more time later. Um, but like, I don't actually know how many characters I'll need in the book. So I'm kind of just going by, huh, it doesn't feel like enough. I can still keep count of all of them. <laughs> And, like, I can, like, literally just dig up original characters and just be like, Oh, well, here's another. Gonna redesign it and throw it in. I'm sure they'll have a role somewhere. You can always use even a recycled OC somewhere. You can always use an OC. going to be a little bit more confusing trying to design her behind this man but oh well hello cookie Lee I feel like I already said that but I don't think I did I think I'm just kind of a little bit focused on everything I think it's still kind of stormy out. It's been pretty stormy recently, so I apologize if there have been any bad weather occurrences or whatever. Yeah, it's kind of gross out there. Well, at least I don't have to do anything with her hand because it's literally behind everything else. characters that I design have downward ears. I don't know, it's just more fun to draw them. They're so flappy. Floopy flap. Wait, okay, so on this picture it's like that. Oh boy. I mean I guess that saves some time. Hi Dad I guess this saves some time? I didn't realize it, but her hair is actually the opposite way of what I was thinking. And I cannot change her hair because I've already done that. Like, I've already drawn this other picture of her, so I guess she's just going to not change ever anymore because I can't do that. Once I draw a picture of a character one way, I try to just stick to it and like not change it like the best that I can try my hardest to like not change like direction or something I mean sometimes that makes it pretty dang hard for me but I don't want to just up and change something then it just looks like I flipped the image or something and this is not digital art this is traditional art so that's not as easy <laughs> She got big boy horns. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to waste time on this one eye. Let's see, how is the rest of her? Of 
cool, cool. So you can see her eyebrow just a little bit there. And you could probably see just a bit of her eye. <laughs> And then it would go like this because that's how that works, I think. She has a very stern look, like all the time. Let's see, what else? I do not want to cover the queen at all, so I'm going to have to do something with her horns. Because I've literally designed them to be so hard to manage. Like on both versions, her horns are just in the way. Maybe I can make them back like his too. Or at least just a little bit back. Like it may look different from another angle, but... Mostly back. Makes more sense for that one to be tallest. Makes more sense for this one to be closer because it's behind. Ah! Horns are very hard to draw when they're doing them from different angles. Quite indeed. Alright, let's see, what does she have outfit-wise? Let's hope I remember all these little details. here. 
I actually forgot the exterior ribs on this guy. Hmm. Maybe he is older than her. Okay, wait, no. Alright, hold on. I'm just gonna put this here for a second, and I'm going to do some of the line art. Not all of it, obviously. I don't have her completely developed here, but I'm going to do some of it so I don't have to worry about scuffing it while I erase some of the mistakes. There we go. We can kind of put these back. They're not going to look as good, but it's the best we can do if we hope to not cover the queen at all. Man, describing this place is going to be heck. It is literally just sparkle land. Which is kind of lame now that I think about it. But kind of cool too because it's magical and whatever. Plus, they don't really have a need for precious gems. AKA, they kind of just use them for whatever. I imagine a lot of the time they do more trading and less buying. this blue like I've been using to do that and she has a lot of flowers wonder if I'll be able to add them all or add enough obviously I'm not going to be able to add each and every single flower
cool, cool. Now I can like do things or whatever. There's a lot of stuff in the way, actually. Did not realize that. But, uh, yeah, so you guys can let me know if you're interested in having another one of those help me design characters for my book kind of streams. Because I thought they were pretty fun. I didn't come up with many characters per stream, but they were enough to keep thinking about my plot and whatnot and stuff. Okay, that's all I can add because I didn't sketch out anything else. So I'm gonna have to sketch that out in a second. I think I made her hair just a little bit too big. Yeah, I definitely made her hair just a little bit too big. I guess there's not much I can do about that now, though. Maybe I didn't make her hair too big. It just kind of looks weird. Just detailing while I 
figure out how exactly I want the stuff to do things. Wait, no. That's not how you words. Okay, so this can go like this because it doesn't need to be that high in the first place. And then that's where the exterior rib thing goes. And then we're back at like the same place, but oh well. See, is there anything else? Just that kind of. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on with all of the storybook shading and whatnot. But I think I can... I think I'll be okay, maybe. I think the only thing that might not be okay is my speeching of words. I'm not the best at talking sometimes. There we go. Now I just gotta detail her a lot more than I have. Thank you, Cookie Lee. Um, I'm just doing my shading things, and I guess they are supposed to be pretty magical. I don't even remember how I came up with them. But I can give you some trivia, or whatever sounds cooler. Um, when I was first designing the Will-O-Wisps, I thought to make them more spirit-y, kind of. And they were kind of made more of, like, gas or something at the bottom, and just, like, ghost thingies. But I decided that would be really hard to try and figure out in my book. Like, based on the, the skits that my brain had already come up with, things would be kind of weird and not very scientific. All of my stuff, even if they're magical, have, they have some kind of science to them. At least something that kind of makes sense to me. 
or something. Like, even when I blame things on magic, I usually still have, like, a backup, well, this kind of makes sense in my mind. So I kind of scrapped that idea. I mean, it was a cool one. I had even come up with, like, a character that looked pretty heckin' sick. And I had, like, the ref sheets and stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's still in one of my many notebooks in the past. In chibi style, because I liked drawing that better, because it was easier. Yeah, I'm going to have to post that stuff that I promised to post a while back. Um, I just, I haven't had a free space on my drafting table to take any pictures. So, I've just had to kind of hold off. But I think I have one or two pictures now that I could maybe post. Yeah. That is another one of the reasons why I keep saying that I'm having trouble getting back into my schedule is because just I'm working on too many projects at a time and there's not enough room on my drafting table. Um, yay. We've got all the characters done. Technically. So these can go over here until I actually need to color. Sadly, no coloring yet. I have to do at least a little bit of perspective. Also, I hope that noise wasn't loud for you guys. My ruler hit, like, one of the metal things and made a really weird sound. Great perspective. Okay, that goes there. Perspective looks really weird for me because I'm actually kind of sitting at an angle. But I've I've got it technically. Technically. I haven't even sketched in all of the props yet. I was going to at least make a few possibly interesting things. Um, something pretty cool. I mean, actually, from different standpoints, it sounds really lame, but like, um, a while ago, I was messing around in Minecraft with the banners, and you can actually make the Wisterian logo on a banner and I freaked out because it looked really cool. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I'm just like one of those really weird people that likes to play video games to try and remake something that actually exists. I guess. <laughs> I just find it really fun when I can like go to a video game and suddenly I can make Alex or I can make Christian or Blue or I can make this anime character or something. It's very fun. It's very, very fun for me. Okay. 
Okay. She doesn't look stern enough. Give her more eyebrow. That literally fixed it. Yep. That's what happens when you have that much eyebrow. Just perpetually stern, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to just make some wibbly wobbly flowers that can be in this pot right here. That way things can be kind of symmetrical or else it'll drive me crazy. <laughs> because I'll feel like the flower pot over there is like too cliche or something. I feel like, I feel like, uh, Wisteria would be a fan of, like, well, Wisteria, and probably Hyacinth, maybe Hydrangeas, or maybe I'm just listing my favorite flowers for no other reason than I want to. Alright, so those are flower pots now. I feel like there should be something right here that kind of just like leads away from everything. Maybe there's just gonna be like a rug. Maybe a rug. Is a rug good? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a rug is good. It'll have to go to the perspective point though. I feel like there has to be a rug, actually. Something is telling me that there has to be a rug. Okay, that's part of the rug. And this is another part of the rug. Oh, well that's where that ends, right there. And then, would it, I feel like it would not be under the throne, so, just gotta end it off there. And we gotta just go, here, wait, where is it, right there, it's right there, okay, gotta line this up. We can do this lightly, and we can add tatters to the rug. We could also like have this corner sticking up or something. I just don't like things being too perfect either. <laughs> Well now I feel like there should be a design on the rug. Am I just making things complicated? <laughs> Maybe. I don't mean to, I'm just trying to make things look nice. I guess nice things are pretty complicated though. I do not know why. I'm drawing a vase. But for some reason my brain was like, wow, why does this bottle have the top of a trumpet? <laughs> now my mind is an endless loop of doot. <laughs> so this is pretty great. How, how are you guys' days?
Okay, now that there are flowers in it, I kind of don't see it as much as a bottle with a trumpet head thing. So that's good. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So that's something. <laughs> Is this just the way I'm sitting? I think it is. Yeah, that's, that's just the way I'm sitting. I thought these were uneven, but I think they're, it's just the way I'm sitting. And then, little bitty button thingies there. Because button thingies are fun on cushions. Usually. I don't think I need to make it like too complicated since so much is going on already. So I'll just add some more little flower thingies down here. And I'll add the banners and I think that's all I'll do for like background stuff. <sighs> but I think since I'm not gonna add a definite wall line, I'll have to probably do some watercolor, which I did not think I would have to, but I think now I've kind of settled that I have to. Alright, so what what awful thing do I want to do first? I think I'm just going to finish up the chair. It's the most complicated. I feel like I should tell some lore about everyone, but like at the same time I feel like I really shouldn't because that gives away a lot about a lot of different things. Yeah, I'm probably not going to. I mean, I'll have to give away a little bit when I do the description, but that's a little bit easier because I can actually think about what I'm saying because I'm not drawing or anything at the same time like I do all the time here I don't have to do much of the chair though anymore because Echo's in the way. I guess that's a plus. I think even just adding the vase and the little bits of flowers that I added to the 
sides of the rug really really helps the composition somehow somehow I like this a lot better than I did like two seconds ago and I feel like it's kind of just because of the little bits of flowers and stuff that I added These look like deformed, long cotton candies, and I love that. Don't you just love some long, deformed cotton candies? pretty cool to like think of making little treats based on my story or something yeah that would be pretty cool I'm gonna add a flower here because I said so that's why psych I'm adding two flowers I tricked you, didn't I? You've been bamboozled. I did not want to make that line as straight as it is, but like I said, I feel like just the flowers that I added really helped those, like, just piercing straight lines that I really did not want. that up just a bit so I can get this line in here Egg. it moved just a little bit I could tell I could tell that it moved just a hint Looks like I made that line down there just a little bit too long. That's alright though. I just forgot to add the one line there that does that. That didn't make sense, but oh well. Oh wait, I have to wait until that dries. Hold on a sec. It has to dry. Did it dry yet? No. Well, too bad. <laughs> I can put some more over it later. Yeah, I didn't even see if this was straight. is pretty much that's surprising 
There we go. Oh, uh, well, I mean, technically, I guess. I only have uh, book one is what I'm really focused on right now, so I don't have everything super duper planned out yet. I just have kind of a vague idea of what's happening. But, I mean, yeah, they... Technically, they play a pretty huge part. Technically. I can add little rods supporting this banner. I kind of had an idea, but I feel like it's way too busy to actually add. Okay, well she's covering the rest of it, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get that out of the way so I can actually see. up in the middle of my line. Cool, cool. I do like this.
Yeah. I like this. Thank you, Cookie Lee. I'm glad you like it. Let's see. Of course, we should probably add the Kingdom's logo thing on it. Probably. I mean, it's just my guess. Pretty easy logo. I was pretty surprised the first time I came up with something for it because I usually don't make things this simple. I just knew what I wanted to get across. I think that's like the secret to making logos is just know what you want to get across. I guess. I knew I wanted it to be like some kind of deer and I knew I wanted it to have a flower and suddenly there was a logo. A nice simple logo that works pretty dang well. Well, it's a little bit late and I'm a little bit tired. I'm sorry we didn't get to do the color today, but I think I'm going to end it here because line art was a lot of, just, just a lot of lots. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And, uh... Yeah. Thanks again, and um, see you guys on Saturday, I guess. That's it, folks. Goodbye.